Okay, are we ready? Very, very good. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Jason and Jessica in holy matrimony. The bonded covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and the first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in the accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Jessica and Jason now come to be joined. If any of y'all can show just cause why they might not be lawfully married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. Good. Before God in this, these witnesses, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Jason, will you have Jessica to be your wife? And will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Good. Jessica. Will you have Jason to be your husband? And will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? Amen. Good. Now I'm going to share with you some scripture. And it's from Paul's letter to the Colossians. And although he was writing this to a church and dealt with how they should be living with one another, I think there's a lot of good advice for marriage. So I want you to listen to these words by the Apostle Paul because I think they might help you out when, when times get a little bit... Uh, challenging. So, hear the word of God. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer together. Lord God, we ask right now that you bless Jason and Jessica as they pledge their lives to each other that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, Jason, what I want you to do is I want you to, and, and Jessica, I want you to join hands. Okay? And move close. There you go. Not that close. You can separate a little bit. And Jason, what I want you to do is I want you to look as deeply as you can into Jessica's eyes. And I want you to repeat these words after me. I, Je Jason, take you, Jessica. I, Jason, take you, Jessica. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Now Jessica, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Jason's eyes. And I want you to repeat after me. I, Jessica, take you, Jason. I, Jessica, take you, Jason. 
to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. Good. Now, rings. Okay. No, oh, that's good. What I want you to do is I want you to place uh, Jessica's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring, give you this ring. as a sign of my promise. A sign of my promise. Good. And Jessica, I want you to put Jason's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring, you this ring. as a sign of my promise. Good. Let's have a word of prayer together. Eternal God, whose love is the source of all good things, right now we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union which now has begun. Grant that Jessica and Jason, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptations. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Since you have pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit what God has joined together let no one separate as God's own clothe yourselves with compassion kindness and patience forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you and crown all these things with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony Amen now Jason you may now kiss your wife. Hey, hey. Okay. Mm.